Good morning and welcome, welcome, welcome to Legally TT. For those of you that are new here and welcome back for those of you that have been following my journey uh, for the last few months now. Um, so thank you so much for hanging in there with me and tuning in to see what's going on now. Uh, so of course we are at yet another crack of dawn appointment. Um, and you know, it's just not a video without a yawn. Um, and we were just here two days ago. Uh, um, so today we are checking my follicle growth. Um, I don't know if they'll check my hormones. They did last time just to make sure, um, I wasn't prematurely surging. Um, and I wasn't. I've also peed on a couple sticks myself. Just my OPKs uh, with Mira. Um, and not surging that I have seen. Um, so, you know, that's a good thing that we didn't ovulate in, you know, two days after. Or one day after finishing up my Letrozole. Um, oh. So, that's a good thing. My allergies are kicking my butt, and this nostril is plugged. It's just useless right now. Just absolutely useless. Um, so, not doing too bad. Um, I'm feeling okay. Uh, last couple days, I have felt a little just kind of grumpy and agitated and, you know, didn't want to really be bothered yesterday. Um, yesterday, really, I just laid around the house. That's what I did. Um, because that's how I felt. Uh, tidbit snippy, just a little bit, but overall, um, I'm feeling okay. Um, so we shall see. random so mm, is it dry i think it's dry let's just not pay attention to that um so someone's walking their dogs it's kind of odd because this is like a medical complex so i don't know if they just got out of a car or if there may be houses no no there's there's no houses really really close I don't know. So it was just odd to see, like, to see these dogs. Sorry. Um, so, you know, we shall see. I'm actually, I'm actually excited um, to see the, the growth, to see how quickly they have grown in two days. So today is Monday. I was just here, is today Monday? No, today's Tuesday. I was just here Sunday. Um, so to see the growth in a couple of days, so I can kind of get an idea of how quickly a follicle grows or how slowly a follicle grows. Um, I haven't been able to get that just because um, the last couple times that I started Letrozole, I started so late in my cycle um, I think it was just, it was just too late. Um, and my body is so used to doing what it's been doing that it just said, I'm not going to change anything, um, outside of actually releasing an egg. So, but, um, I'm actually going to host a couple of rooms on... I think I'm going to go ahead and host them on Clubhouse. I'm going to see if I can also probably do them live on the Facebook as well. Maybe if I can figure out how to get that done. Don't judge me. Some days me and technology just don't get along. Um, so I'm going to try and figure out how to get that done. I want to do a Letrozol versus Clomid. Um, and... It's a metformin versus something else. 
and um, IUI versus IVF. Um, so those will be the next three topics that we are going to kind of di dive into. Hopefully, um, I would need participation um, from those that have done IUI, have taken metformin and whatever the other one is, um, have taken Clomid, I've taken Letrozole, um, and as you know, I am doing IUI, um, so it, I, I really want to spark up some conversations um, on those things and really understand both sides of them um, for not just myself, but everybody really in this journey. I think we need to understand a lot, be able to kind of understand a lot more um, than what we have so far um, so we can make better educated decisions. Um, and to also push people to uh, really do their research before making certain decisions and don't just make them based off of emotion, which we tend to do um, in this journey because it, it's a very emotional journey. Um, so with that being said, I today I just drove in quietly and let my mind do what it always does. Oh, excuse me. And that is run like a crazy person. Like a hamster on a wheel. And I said to myself, during this journey, I have to have that blind faith. And I, I, I uh, compared it to the fact that I have astigmatism. Um, plus, I have a lazy eye in the left eye. Um, so even with contacts, you can't, they can't get my vision to be 20-20 in that eye. And a lot of times, not a lot of times, but there has been plenty of times, especially because I work in the evenings, um, driving from work where I could not really see out of my left eye um, because it was blurry and the contact may have been dry because it, you know, it been in all day or whatever the case may be. And then I just didn't want to work. So I typically will see out of just one eye driving. Um, but I always have faith that, you know, it's okay. I don't, I only need the one. Um, I can, I can get home. I can drive, but I had that faith that God is just gonna take the wheel if need be. Um, and I'm going to get home with just one eye. Um, and also just thinking about those that are blind, they have to have that faith in something, uh, whether it be an SCNI dog, whether it be, um, I don't know the real name for it. I'm sorry. Uh, the tapping stick that they use, um, whether it be the sound that they're looking to hear from the um the crossing signals so we really have to have that blind faith because these doctors don't know um they're really just throwing ish at a wall and seeing what sticks so they're trying to figure out what'll work for you um and they don't tell you that they don't tell you that you know it may be quite a few cycles before you get a successful cycle because they're really trying to figure out what's going to work. Um, being on third drive for really the first full IUI cycle really lets me know that one, this could be a lot longer than I anticipated. Um, and two, they really don't know. Um, and they don't tell you these things when you're watching these videos to show tell you about IUI and IVF. Um, your insurance company can't give you a definite cost on all of this. Um, so you just blindly are walking into this not knowing really what is going to happen. So you really have to have that faith. You know, I've 
to me even beyond a mustard seed like yeah mustard seed small and no no you just got to have that blind faith that you don't even know if the mustard seed is there let alone whether it's going to grow and produce what you need it to produce you just need to have faith that i think it's there i'm gonna just say it's there and god is gonna take care of the rest um because if you don't it's going to be tough it is going to be a very 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 tough journey um and in the beginning to be honest with you i did not have that faith i did not have that hope I was not leaning on God to get me through this, and it was tough mentally and emotionally. I was really, really, really being dragged through the mud, and that is because I did not have my faith where I needed it to be, um, and I am thankful that he opened my eyes um, or maybe even shut them um, and took my hand, and, and now he's he's with me going through this journey and I'm thankful because otherwise I don't know where I would be mentally and emotionally three cycles into this with really no understanding of how things are going to go or you know I don't know I don't know anything I'm just kind of uh, as I said blindly going through this um and I do want to thank you all that have been following my journey um, and that have been there with me, has given me encouraging words, um, you know, that have checked on me. Um, so thank you very much for that. And for those of you that are also going through this journey, please make sure you have a support system. Please make sure you are definitely strong in your faith, whatever it may be. Um, and be ready for the unknown and be ready for nothing. It's just kind of how I feel about it. But um, it is about to be time for me to run in here for my appointment. Um, so let's have a quick word of prayer. I know people be looking at me like I'm crazy. Like, is she talking to herself? Um, but it's cool. Um, let's have a quick word, word of prayer prayer and then I have to head in oh excuse me our father we come to you thank you for this day thank you for letting us wake up another day and see the bright sun lord another day to breathe another day to live another day to serve you lord lord I just thank you for giving me that blind faith lord and thank you for just walking me through this journey and helping me mentally and emotionally to continue to be okay, Lord. Lord, I ask you to touch in everyone under the sound of my voice, no matter what they're going through, to have that blind faith, Lord, to believe that the mustard seed is there, to believe that the mustard seed is going to grow, to believe that the mustard seed is going to produce what it needs to produce, Lord. Lord, I just thank you. I just ask you to bless us all and keep us all safe and keep us healthy and keep us continuously to trust in you, Lord. Lord, I continue to thank you for everything that you have done, everything that you haven't done, everything that you're going to do and everything that you are not going to do because it is your will, Lord. Lord, I just thank you for everything. I ask you to bless me in this appointment, Lord, to be okay with whatever they uh, say to me, Lord. Lord, if it's my will or what I would like, then amazing. If not, then let it be that you give me the understanding of what is not, Lord. So I just thank you and ask you to bless and protect us. Keep us all loving you and loving one another. In Jesus' name I pray. I love you, Lord. Amen. So, I will see you guys in a little bit. I am going to head on in. So I'm back. Um, my nose still plugged. Yes, still plugged. Um, so we've grown. So last time it was a fort. The the dominant one was a fourteen, and today. 
it was 17. And then I had two smaller ones on my left side. So my right side is what's holding the dominant um, follicle. My left side has two that have grown, but they're not quite dominant. Um, one of which, both of them were nines. Woo, excuse me, on Sunday. And so today we have a nine and 11 on my left hand side. Uh, um, so uh, they did do blood work just to see what's going on. So that I don't, I won't follow up with you guys with because it's just to see what's going on. Um, and I have to return tomorrow because they said they may just trigger at 19. I think they're scared of missing it. Um, so of course we'll be on sticks uh, today. I usually do around noon. Um, cause that's normally when I'm getting up. Um, so I think we'll do a noon, um, OPK. <coughs> we might do one later on this evening as well. Um, just to keep an eye on it, make sure we're not surging. I'll keep an eye on what my body is doing. If I start to feel a little crampy or anything, um, on my right hand side mainly because the other the left hand side I don't believe those are big enough um, I am concerned if I do not ovulate those eggs will they turn into cysts um, because the left side is the side I typically have a cyst on um, so I don't know won't worry about it I'm just gonna blindly keep on walking um so we'll cross that bridge if we have to. So, whew, yes, I'm tired. Looks like we might have a full IUI. Um, so I guess if I trigger tomorrow, IUI will be the following day, maybe. I don't know. I don't know how a trigger works or anything. Nah, past that, we ain't got that far. So, um, I guess we'll be back tomorrow. So, thank you so much for following me on this journey. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, comment, share, all that good stuff. So we can make sure that we are getting out to those that really want to see us or just follow this journey. Um, and make sure you join the Facebook group if you are looking, if you are currently in this journey or you are looking to be a better support system for someone in this journey. Um, I will have the links down below. Um, so thank you so much and see you guys in my next one.